feels right, the flow is right, flow sounds good with the drums, you know, it's a feeling. It depends what, whether you like to write things that are personal, just about having a good time or whatever. Find out what you're good at. Just write about everything. Write about whatever comes to your mind. And the one that, that sounds the best, that's probably the style that you should work on the most. So if it's about being happiness, being happy or being just being uh, observant, then, um, you know, it will come out in the song and you'll notice it and you'll see that you're good at this particular topic more than another topic. Work on that one. B, B, boys and girls, listen up. You can be anything in the world and God we trust. It's the melody, it's the music, you know, you listen, you hear music and you, you, you want to write to it. It kind of makes you write to it. If you have an idea before you hear music, you might be just in your car, you might just be having a walk and you might get some ideas and you write them down. And then when you hear music, you'll find the music that goes with the stuff you wrote down. Kept my mind on fame, saw things shoot up and do lines of um, Sometimes I know ahead of time what I want to write about. Sometimes I don't know which way the record is going to go. So I just say what I feel, whatever I'm talking about. When I listen back, I find mm. the title track. I find the song, I find it. The first trip without the click, sit the with the this is it, fresh face. I can play music on a beat speaker or listen in the studio to music while I'm by myself. It's, it's best when I'm by myself. I like to have people in the room sometimes because they help me. They cheer me on. They can tell me that's not good. You should say it different. I think it's best when I'm by myself. When I, it, but I just have to trust. that You have to all trust that process of no one there to tell you if it's good or bad until it's done and when you play it for someone. When it's just you by yourself, you're, you're your own critic. I like details. If you pay attention to details, things that are around you, people, the way the shirt looks, the way the hat looks, the way someone chews their gum, you could tell that, you could put that, um, you write down details in the story, mm. but it should flow naturally. It shouldn't be, it shouldn't sound like a storybook for kids. It should sound like, it should flow like effortless. You know, it should sound like the story is just coming out of thin air, just coming from places that you don't even know, but it sounds perfect on the record. The world is yours, disciple of the project, slash verbal murderer. You should set up your punchlines with the words that come before your punchline. That's the setup. You figure out what you want to say, that's the punchline, and then you go find words that rhyme with your punchline so you can mm. set it up. Set up those words that rhyme with your punchline. You mm. say that first, and then your punchline comes in, bah, rewriting Re recreating the language that you speak, changing mm. it, updating, making your language more hip. If you mm. speak French, you, you have slang there. If you speak English, you can make slang. It's ways to say words that are cooler than the regular way. My first album had no famous guest appearances. The outcome, I'm crowned the best services. Might inspire a song. Mm. It could be anything. Like I learned about flowers or, or whatever. Just gather books, learn something different and it will broaden your imagination. Learn words, because we use words a lot, so words are your friend. We should learn as many words as we can and the meanings of those words and mm. find ways to put them into your language. I've been a fan of Hit Boy. He produced mm. the whole album. I've been a fan of his work for so many years, and I knew that I would sound good with his music. And I think Michael knew, not to compare myself, but I mean, like, when you think about people, like, coming together with people who can put together a record, I think mm. Michael knew Quincy Jones could do that. And I think um, that happens with hip-hop all the time. Mm. You, you just have to figure out who it is that can see your vision and really help want to help you uh, do that. The same with Salon Remy. I mean, a lot of guys today make singles. They make a lot of singles. The albums are not really what a lot of artists care about but if you care about making an album you should listen to albums really listen to the albums that you love and figure out what it is what is it that you love about those albums why do you like them so much how many songs are on there what are they singing about why do you like this album and you have to know that if you can do it too and you should try your best at trying to make music that's good the way that you like to hear it america the beautiful gangsta's paradise for a black man to be rich you say we 
sacrifice. Everything in moderation and don't stress about things that you can't control and don't have too many regrets about things you did and don't put too much weight on your shoulders that you can't handle. Just deal with things that as they come and do the best you can and don't beat yourself up about it. A grandma razor, I met her in Kingston, Jamaica. With veteran kingpins, bought acres. Rest in peace, Louis Rankin, original. Don Dada. That has happened ever since I was a young teenager where you would write something and you go, oh wow, dad, this came, this came out of me, you know? So mm. that happens, that always happens, yeah.